Hey everybody, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for coming back to D Diets, Preps and More. I appreciate it, I really do. Uh, I've been gone for quite some time and I have been. Thank you to all the new subscribers that came over and subscribed to the channel. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, but I was extremely busy for the month of December. Some of you love Buddy and I know you love his videos, but December is my biggest, biggest time of the year with Buddy with doing private videos for uh, people that request them. And since your girlfriend doesn't get paid for any of these things, I have, I need a minute to unwind and decompress because the stuff I hear around the holiday season, most of the time isn't very pleasant. It's not. So I really try to give myself a mental break and I step away from social media. Buddy will put a few videos out on my Facebook page but after his Christmas video, there was nothing else out here because I knew what I was doing on my end. Anyway, thank you all. I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year to all of us. There's been so much going on in the world. It's absolutely crazy and nuts, just nuts. But we'll get to that in another video. But this is a video that I had to tell you my experience with Best Buy. Yes, I would like to tell you my experience, my friends. Because you're not going to believe it if I tell you. So, I mean, honestly, from the title of my video, did I steal from Best Buy? The answer would be absolutely yes. But um, it was all a big error. A big, 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 big error. So, I got to tell you about it. I really do. So, my husband and I, we're married 40 years. We're married 40 years. And, you know, after 40 years, there are no surprises. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, no. What do you want for Christmas? Oh, let me get you. No, no, no. There's none of that. He says to me, what do you want? I go, I want a fifth generation iPad. I have the iPads. I have the mini iPads. I have the iPads Pros. I have a Mac computer. I have an iPhone. And I said, I'll take the fifth generation uh, iPad. Okay. There we go. I said, because I have to do a lot of buddy videos. I need a lot more storage. And this baby has storage. Storage. Yes, it does. So I said, I can use that. These are not cheap. I know they're not cheap, but... I ordered it from Best Buy, came to my house, and I have my fifth generation iPad, which I have to say is really heavy. But it works. It, it works for what I need it to work for. So I say to him, what do you want for Christmas, darling? And if you think I said darling, you would be mistaken. Uh, <laughs> I said to him, what do you want for Christmas? Because I want a gaming system. I want a gaming system that I could play my games on. And I was like, okay, okay. Um, yeah, well, when you're married 40 years, this is really what you expect. So I said to him, all right, fine. Do you know the gaming system that you want? He goes, yes, I was on the Best Buy website. Get on the phone. His Majesty, of course, has to tell me to get on the phone because His Majesty doesn't know how to have a mouth to speak. No, no. So he goes, get on the phone and order me this. I'll sit in the chair next to you and I will tell you what I want. Ladies, le if you think it gets easier after 40 years of marriage, uh, no. I can honestly say, no, it does not. No, it does not. Uh, I just feel like I have another child and my child's out of the house and in her own house right now. So I'm like, um, I hear the tapping of Buddy's feet because he just had his uh, rotisserie chicken. Yeah, he's extremely spoiled. Anyways, so I get on the phone with Best Buy, and I tell the person that I'm speaking to, I need to order this, 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 and this, because he picked it out. I order it up. I don't ask any questions. I've learned not to ask any questions. For myself, I ask a million. For him, I go, I'm not asking. He knows what he wants. I say to my husband, listen, do you want to go up to Best Buy? We'll pick it up there. Or do you want it delivered to the house? My thing is go pick it up there. My husband thing was delivered to the house. Okay. I said, Doug, UPS is going to deliver this to the house. It'll be here in a few days. Oh, he goes, wonderful. Well, he was all excited. Now I want to tell you why he's all excited, friends. Because he's got a game, a farm simulator game. Yeah, farm farming. He gets to build farm equipment, have his own pigs, chickens, roosters, plant vegetable. Yeah, this is my husband. He's a farmer on a computer. So, whoo! Yeah, that takes up a lot of oxygen. So I said to him, fine, 
I said, I would not suggest, after I got off the phone with this person and said, yeah, UPS it to us. I said, you know, Doug, I wouldn't suggest you going and having this really delivered to the house. There's monitors, they can crack, they can be broken. We should just have them bring it to the store and we can pick it up there. No, 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 everything will be fine. It'll get delivered to the house. All right, fine, 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 fine. Fast forward a few days later, he picks, uh, the, the UPS guy comes, drops off the monitor, the computer, all the little, you know, stuff that goes with it. And I say, your computer's here. Oh, we're so excited like a kid at Christmas, running down the stairs. He's 66 years old, running down the stairs in his bathrobe. I, I, I wish I could have video of this. He opens the box and he goes, oh my God, the screen is cracked on the monitor. I've, hey, we should have went there and picked it up. You didn't want to. Well, I knew we were going to have to go back now because now we have to return, right? So I say to him, why don't you open it up? Maybe it's just a monitor that we need and you don't need anything else and we can just get a new monitor and exchange the monitor. He opens it up. It's got no CD-ROM player in it. You know, for the disc that he could put his farm simulator game into? Uh-huh. So I say to him, okay, now the whole system has to go back because there's no CD-ROM in it. So he says to me, oh my God, he's throwing a fit. I'm saying to myself, well, why didn't you ask? Why didn't you say, why didn't you get on the phone and talk to this person and tell them what you wanted? No, no. Right then and there, he says to me, get on the phone, get on the phone. As though like my life has to come to complete stop. Get on the phone, call them, let them know what happened. I need a computer with a CD-ROM in it. I went, all right, hi, hello, K okay, Sergeant, I gotcha. I get on the phone, hour and a half wait, hour and a half wait. But this whole COVID nonsense, people are not working in places anymore. They're all over the place. They're scattered, right? So finally, after an hour and a half, oh, my husband skedaddles, gets in his truck and he leaves. I'm still waiting for somebody, all right? Finally, person gets on the phone, lovely woman. Hello, Mary, if you're watching, she knows I have a YouTube channel. I said, Mary, I've got problems. She goes, Denise, we're going to fix that for you. Very good. Mary worked out of a house. I could hear a dog barking in the background. I said, Mary, are you walking out of your house? She said, yes. I said, I did that for a long time. It's marvelous, marvelous. I did that with an entertainment company I used to work for. <gasps> Nothing better than working from your own house. Fabulous, fabulous, but you have to be diligent. Let me, let me not say more, no more because I'll get off the storyline. So she says to me, Denise, on a problem, we'll get a computer with a CD-ROM in it. I'll get, we'll get a bigger monitor. We'll have external speakers. I'm like, yeah, yeah, go ahead, go for it all. At this point, I don't even care. We're talking thousands of dollars, people. We're not like, you know, I'm sitting here going, yeah, 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 I don't care. Because with the mood he was in, I figured just let's get this thing done. Well, Mary orders the computer and she says to me, Denise, you want to pick it up in Wilkesbury since you have to take back this old computer? No problem, I tell her. No problem. We'll take it back. All right. We take the computer now following Saturday. Doug is off. We take it back up to Wilkesbury, which is not far. It's really far from my house. It's not around the corner. We take it there and I say to the girl, I need to return this old computer. The monitor has been broken. She goes, oh, we did get a new monitor in for you. We already ordered one in. I said, honey, you don't get what I'm saying. This computer is not good. We cannot use this computer because it doesn't have a CD-ROM in it. I said, my husband needs a CD-ROM to play some farm simulator game. And I'm talking to her like, yeah, I I'm disgusted at this point, okay? So she says, but we ordered in a new monitor. I said, honey, I don't care. I can't use the computer. We ordered a whole new gaming system. And she goes, I know we have it right here. I said, honey, I don't need this monitor. It does not go with this system that I just bought. You know what she says to me? I don't know what to do with the new monitor, so you could take it home with you. Now, at this point, my mind is so confused because my husband is all excited because he's loading up the new computer into his car along with a 55-inch television set, a smart TV, that we bought my mother for a Christmas present slash birthday present because her birthday's on Christmas Eve. Hello, Ma. She was 82 years old. She was so excited. She wanted a smart TV so she could watch YouTube videos on the smart television set. Oh, I love my mother. She, you know, she's like in the 21st century now. Her daughter, on the other half, is still being ordered around by her husband. So now I'm by the girl. She refunded my money on the old system we brought back. 
she's handing me in the box a brand new monitor. And I keep telling her, I don't need this monitor. The new system has a monitor. This is your monitor. You're handing me some, and this monitor I think was $200 or $249. I don't remember. I said, you're handing me a brand new monitor that I don't need. This new system has its own, has a monitor. I said, honey, this is all your stuff. We don't need it here. She turns to me and she goes, I don't know what to do with it. So you take it home. I mean, so now I'm walking out the door. Nobody stops me. I'm walking out the door with this box, okay? Nobody stops me at the door. May we see your receipt? Nothing. Now I'm heading to the car. There's a kid helping my husband put a 55 inch television in the car, right? And the kid leaves and my husband goes, what's in the box? I go, the monitor. She wants us to take this monitor home. He says, but we have a monitor. I said, Doug, the girl said, take the monitor home. They're going to have some kind of a text message going to come. And we're going to have to print out the, 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 the thing. And we're going to have to send it back to the UPS people. But I don't have a printer. And I told this to the girl, I don't have a printer at my house. She said, take it anyway. Now. My husband's in the car, all excited like a kid at Christmas because he's got his new gaming system. Oh, he's got external, uh, exten um, the speakers, the monitor, bigger than the monitor that I had already ordered, bigger, okay? So he is like in heaven. He's going to get home. He's going to put it all together. He's going to sit and he's going to play his game. And I'm like, great. I have a piece of stolen merchandise in my car because this girl told me to walk out of it with it. I'm in the passenger seat going, Doug, Doug, we got to get a hold of people. This is not our stuff. We need to bring it back. He's like, don't worry about it. They said they're going to uh, send you a label. I said, Doug, I, we don't have a printer at the house. They can't do anything. Well, my husband is in another world. I get home. The next day, I'm on the phone with Best Buy's corporate office. All right? I'm like, I need to talk to somebody. I, I'm leaving messages. I'm leaving. Like I was a common criminal of some. A criminal wouldn't go through all this aggravation. I'm telling you right now. I said, I brought home a monitor. It doesn't belong to us. We need to bring this monitor back. I don't know why the girl... And finally, a guy finally got a hold of me. He probably thought, what a wacko to even make this phone call. So his name was Scott. He was very nice. He gets on the phone with me and he says to me, not a problem. I'll send you an email. You're going to have a printed label. I said, honey, I don't have a printer. He says, not a problem, D. We'll have UPS pick it up. I said, beautiful, beautiful. When will they be coming? He says to me, oh, I don't know. He says, they'll give it three tries, three attempts to come to the house. All righty then. My husband's out in the truck leaving to go to work, okay? Never opens his new computer box, okay? We bought it on a Saturday. He never opened this thing. He never opened it. He said, because he had, we had lots going on for the holidays. You know what happens. My husband's in his big truck, his work truck, guys, which is an 18 uh, tractor trailer, Okay. And we park it right in front of the house. Just the trailer, the, tra uh, the tractor. The trailer someplace else. So my husband's in the truck and I'm in the shower. We say our goodbyes. All of a sudden, I'm getting out of the shower. I hear the doorbell ring, but I hear my husband's truck still running in the front. I go to the door. I look through the glass, the stained glass, and I go, oh my God, it's the UPS. Now, mind you, my hair is on end. I'm completely soaking wet. I grab my kimono. I only button it down four buttons, four buttons, okay? So we're not even going past the belly button at this point because I want to get rid of this monitor and give it back to the UPS people. People, I am not lying. I open the door, okay? Open the door thinking I'm completely closed. Open the door, hair on end. Guy looks at me and I'm thinking to myself, what are you looking at? And all of a sudden he's smirking and stuff. My husband's in the truck still there. I look down and I realize I'm exposed. I'm completely exposed. Everything is showing. Everything is showing. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't have perky boobs that are like up in the air. Uh, hello. He's getting a visual that I don't expect any man to. Because I, uh, honestly, I'm sure I'm, he could have been screaming into that truck. He starts cracking up laughing, the UPS driver. And I'm saying to myself, Oh my God. Oh my God. I realized at this moment that I have, my hair is on end. I have no makeup on my face. I am so worried about giving this monitor to this guy. I am completely exposed. Everything is open. Uh, 
And my husband is sitting in the truck, all right? Has no clue. There's a man at the door. Nothing. Nothing. So finally, like, I close, I take my hand and I close my kimono up in front of me. Well, he's hysterical laughing the driver. Hysterical. I'm, and I'm yelling out the duo. No, I look like the you, uh, you bangy, all right? I go, can you believe all this that I have to go through just to get something back that didn't belong to me? And the UPS driver says, why'd you bother? <laughs> and laughing as he pulled away. So I was a sight to behold, a sight to behold. Not alone just the embarrassment of it. Honestly, guys, if I had like a body like a rock star, do you think I would have cared? This man was laughing. When I tell you laughing, he got into that truck and you know they have helpers with them. I was just like mortified, absolutely mortified. But the moral of the story is, and I'm sure if you're drinking coffee right now or having a cup of tea, you probably spit it out of your mouth already. You don't want to see this. Uh, no, no, you don't. No, not with clothes. With no clothes, oh, you have just have no idea. I was so embarrassed. You know, I had a child. I shouldn't be that embarrassed, but everything was shut. Everything, everything, everything. I didn't realize it. I so didn't. Anyway, what are you going to say you do? But the moral of the story is my husband came home finally that weekend, opens up the box, and the computer doesn't have a CD raw player in it. <laughs> We needed to buy an external hard drive. Sorry, Mary, but at least we got that and it works with this computer. But until the next time, my friends, and there will be a next time, be well, take care of yourselves. Be kind to one another. The heart, the heart is all that matters. And I know I'll see you all again. So many things going on in my life. Take it easy, my friends. Thank you to all the new people that subscribe to my channel. I truly appreciate it. I hope you gave it a thumbs up. If you gave it a thumbs down, that's okay too. I, listen, I don't worry about these things. It's the bigger things in life that matter. Mwah. Goodbye, my friends. Take it easy.